Hey guys, my name is Shai and I'm making just a really quick video here because I feel called to share my thoughts and my just personal experiences with what I'm going to call fate versus free will. So I have been in kind of a strange headspace this morning, feeling into... <sighs> it's really hard to describe. It's like there's this weird vibe running in the background and it's manifesting in many different ways. You can see it in your personal life, perhaps manifesting in several different ways all at once. You can see it out in the world. What I, I am boiling it down to is fate versus free will. There, it, It's like a million different facets to it. But essentially, we are all working through this in our own way, and there is no right or wrong way to do it. Um, of course, I have a preference about how I am personally working through this, and that's all I'm here to do is to show you what my personal preference is. And you are, of course, one million percent free to agree or disagree or find a middle way or find some other way or whatever. It doesn't matter. I am literally just here to put out there my 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 thoughts, and that's it. So I am feeling that there is some kind of energy that it's like it's like some kind of vibration, some kind of energy is trying its damnedest in a million different ways to get us to give up our free will <laughs> in in so many different ways and it could be ways that you might not even expect or or that you might not even um notice at first for example i mean you know these are just cards that i i, I have been sitting here pulling cards for quite a while i didn't expect to turn on the camera um because i was feeling into this like what am i feeling what am i feeling what is going on and these are the last cards that i popped up um the emperor and the star and these are the kind of two sides that i'm feeling to this i asked what is this vibe i'm feeling that is trying to make me like concede to something outside of myself and it's this emperor card right and this particular emperor card is quite red it's kind of actually a little gnarly looking compared to some emperor cards and the other one is the star right i asked like well, what is if i just follow my own choice and my own preferences and my own free will and the other side was the star so that's the two sides here fate with the emperor and free will with the star and i have been feeling this strange it's like it it's like i actually i actually thought it was my own inner guidance system and that is why i want to make this video because uh like you know, I think about my inner guidance system all day. Every day I use my inner compass. I rely on that over everything else. And I know most of you watching this also do the same. Um, and so I, I felt like for I was having a weird moment and I was feeling like my inner guidance system was guiding me to like give up my sovereignty, give up my free will in some way or another. It's like I was getting this weird guidance. At least I thought it was my inner guidance, right? I thought my inner guidance was telling me to like succumb to something or to bow down to something almost it was very strange <laughs> um uh specifically i'm trying i'm trying to i'm trying i'm trying to articulate this but <laughs> it's been such a strange morning so how do i put into words what i what i was really feeling very specifically so it's like the the line between surrendering to the divine and surrendering to the flow and going with the flow and going in the feminine flow, like that whole paradigm of surrender and flow, the feminine paradigm of surrender and flow. It almost feels like there is something that's trying to mimic that. It's it's mimicking that and I almost mistook it for it, right? Because I often prefer to surrender to the divine and go with the flow and follow my life's journey and allow my my life's journey to unfold on its own right i often prefer that and i very frequently more and more and more choose that path especially because i'm a north node in pisces <laughs> so i'm often choosing that path um but it but then there is this weird energy that seems to be mimicking it and i was mistaking it for inner guidance to surrender and it was like this energy was trying to get me to almost like take a vow of service that's something that has come up for, up for me several occasions where i feel like pressured to take some kind of vow of service like de to dedicate my life to something to and to essentially to surrender my ability to choose that's what it boils down to that is the red flag here that i want to point out if something is 
There's a difference between going with the flow and allowing like the universe to unfold your path for you and to just take it step by step. There's a difference between that. That is the beautiful high frequency positive unfolding of your life. And you can tell the difference between because the, what does that make you feel? That makes you feel free. That makes you feel excited. That makes you feel uplifted, right? You can feel the beautiful vibe. It's like of the star, right? Of going with the flow and, and the feminine flow paradigm, right? That is uplifting and inspiring and sparkly and bright and full of light and love, right? Then there's this other other energy that is almost mimicking it. It's trying to make you, it, it's like trying to make me feel like, oh, you know, yeah, like just, just surrender and dedicate your life to something specific or just surrender and um, like surrender. It's almost like <sighs> dedicate yourself to your mission, like give up your entire life, give up all of your choices, give up all of that and just do your, do your mission. It's, it's like this weird type of thing. And it, and it, it, it for a while there, I was like feeling like that was where I was being guided to go. But I understood, eventually I understood that that was a little bit strange because that energy made me feel constricted. It made me feel like I was contracting and it made me a little anxious. It didn't make me feel free and flowing and full of life and love and wonder. It made me feel small. It made me feel like there were barbs closing in around me. It made me feel like I was shrinking. And that right there is the, that's what I want to highlight is the difference there. That is how you can tell the difference between your true inner compass, like your true inner being, your soul, your higher self, source itself, guiding you through the flow it's the feeling of it. Is it. Does it make you feel free? Does it make you feel exciting? Does it make you feel light, right? Does it make you feel just ah, exhilarated and happy to be alive and full of freedom and choice and independence and sovereignty, but also interconnectedness and um, and just trusting in your path, right? All of that is so beautiful. Like you guys can, many of you I'm sure can feel my energy as I'm describing this, right? On the other, other hand, if it's this feeling of do your job, do your mission. You have to show up. You're running out of time. The time is now. There's something specific for you to do. You need to dedicate yourself to this. You need to dedicate your life to this. You need to take a vow. You need to commit, right? <laughs> you can tell just by the way I'm talking. Th there is this weird thing where it's like you could think that, that that is the direction of flow. It's almost like... <sighs> It's almost like there is some weird vibe going around that is like trying to mimic and imitate the divine feminine like paradigm of flow and freedom, right? It's it's like it's trying to m imitate it and you know, <laughs> like I, it almost got me. It almost fooled me. It almost fooled me into taking some kind of vow or making some kind of dedication or anything like that. Um and that's not what I want to choose, right? That's not what I want to choose. And how do I know that's not what I want to choose? It's because this, the thing on this side, right? It, it makes me feel small. It makes me feel like I'm contracting. It, it makes me feel limited. And that, that, that is all I need to know to know that that's not what I want to choose, right? I only want to choose expansion and freedom and all those positive, beautiful, lightful thoughts. I don't want to, I don't want to follow the path if the path is making me feel constricted and trapped and small. So, at the end of the day, like, I'm not going to make any, um, cause I don't, I don't want to like freak anybody out with this video. I'm, I'm absolutely just to be very clear. I'm not saying that there is some like insidious force, like coming to get you or anything like that. That's not how I perceive energy. I just perceive, I just understand this as there is, you know, just constantly on earth and, you know, beyond earth, but we feel it very deeply and specifically on earth, just the, the whole milieu of energies, right? There's just all of the different energies flying around, flowing around, and it's our job to sort through them and sift through them and perceive them and let them go and choose the ones we prefer and move, like, move away from the ones that we don't prefer, right? So I, I don't really see this as anything to be like worried about. It's just something to be aware of and to really be aware of it. <laughs> If you feel like you are being guided towards something, double check your guidance by asking yourself, how does it feel? How does it make you feel? Does it make you feel light and full of love and full of expansion? Or does it make you feel full of anxiety, full of like constriction and full of entrapment? That's not, that's not what, that's not, I'm assuming that's not what you want, right? <laughs> I'm assuming that you don't want to be shrinking. You want to be expanding. So, you know, just... Be aware of that and know that, like, it's like, I don't care how good you are and how, like, how skilled you are and how much experience you have following your inner guidance system. I feel like we are getting to an, a more complex, how do I put this? 
I feel like we are accessing, like we're streaming, we're streaming, we're channeling our higher minds more consistently and with more subtlety. And with that comes uh, like our ability to tune into broader, more, a, a more like a larger variety of data streams, a larger variety of cosmic data streams. And so there's going to be these new energies coming in. And if you feel this weird vibe coming in, don't be freaked out. It's like nothing coming to get you or anything. It is literally just like a frequency. It's like a sound. It's like a sound that, but that you're not hearing it. You're just feeling it, right? It's just a vibration. It's just a sound. That's all it is. It's just a sound that you're not hearing. You're feeling instead of, instead of hearing it, right? And it's just your job to decide, do you want that or do you not want that? <laughs> and if you if you don't want it, you don't need to fight it. You don't need to do anything about it. You just say, hey, okay, that energy is there. Maybe I'm going to feel it for the next few days. Maybe it's just going to hang around and that's fine. I'm just going to let it vibrate there. It's literally like an annoying noise, right? If you have like a thing buzzing in your house and you can't make it stop, I mean, that would be really fucking irritating, but you would also just know that eventually it's going to go away and you're just going to like try to ignore it and then it's going to go away. And in the meantime, you're just going to focus on what you want to choose and what you want to choose and what you want to choose. And you're just going to continually move yourself in the direction of what you prefer, right? And that's basically it. That's it. Um, yeah, so that's my two cents on this. Um, you're all probably going to relate to this in your own way because I, I really, really feel like this whole thing um, between this idea of something being fated for you and the flowing way of flowing into your free will that is aligned with your higher guidance, this is just going to keep playing out in different ways, in a million different ways for every individual um, and for different collectives on the planet, for the entire planetary collective and all of that. Um, and what I will say is anybody seeing this video, you are tuning into very higher levels of this. So you're like playing this out on a degree of abstraction that others won't necessarily even be aware of. So that's why it this this weird energy, whatever it is, this thing here being represented by the emperor that is trying to convince you that something is fated for you um, and then it is outside of your free will choice. This energy just... That's it. It's like I have nothing else to say about it. It's just you can just let it be, let it fade away and move back into the star, right? Align with your true star, align with your true north, connect with your higher self. And as you move forward through the increasing like intensity of new vibrations that you perceive, right? As more and more vibrations come into your, your awareness, you just repeatedly over and over again, as many times as, as it takes, you just repeatedly put your attention, put your awareness back on your soul, back on your source, back on your own inner guidance system. And by doing that over and over and over, just every day, every day, every day, for as many days as you live, <laughs> that is how you just repeatedly realign with yourself, realign with yourself, realign with yourself, and then all the other energies that you don't, that you don't pr prefer, stay on your periphery, stay outside of your bubble, and just kind of drift away. So that's all I wanted to say about that. I hope this helped somebody. Maybe somebody needed to hear this because I was really called to come on here and just comment on it, I guess. <laughs> so I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.